Welcome to this online gathering at St. Michael's Uniting Church on the first Sunday after Christmas. Wherever you are on your spiritual journey, wherever you've come from, wherever you're going to, whatever you believe, whatever you do not believe, you are welcome. We begin with an acknowledgement of country. The land on which St. Michael stands is the sovereign and unceded country of the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. We pay our respects to their elders past and present who have cared for this country since its creation. And we commit ourselves to working for a more just sharing of resources and power between the first and second peoples of Australia. And as we gather with people from around Australia and from other countries, I invite you to acknowledge the first people on whose land you live. Merry Christmas. Yes, Merry Christmas still. It is the second day of the 12 days of Christmas. Christmas blessings to people who have attended St. Michael's in the past and are waiting for the right time to return. Christmas blessings to St. Michael's online community and Christmas blessings to anyone who is joining us for the first time. This year, the first Sunday after Christmas comes only one day after Christmas Day. So today we continue to dwell with the Christmas stories, turning our attention to the visit of the wise ones, opening ourselves to the spirit, speaking into our embodied lives through traditional carols and contemporary readings, looking not for facts that will convince, but for truth that inspires. In this quiet space, we gather in community allowing the spirit born in a child to be born in us. At this still point in time, in familiar song and story, we pause on the journey of our lives to consult a map that begins with a star. When the darkness seems to have no end, holding a myriad of unanswered questions and unresolved human despair, a star moves across the sky. Breathe in courage and follow that star toward the rebirthing of love. Where the Map Begins by Jan Richardson. This is not any map, you know. Forget longitude, forget latitude. Do not think of distances or of plotting the most direct route. Astrolab, sextant, compass, these will not help you here. This is the map that begins with a star. This is the chart that starts with fire, with blazing, with an ancient light that has outlasted generations, empires, cultures, wars. Look starward once, then look away. Close your eyes and see how the map begins to blossom behind your lids, how it constellates, its lines stretching out from where you stand. You cannot see it all, cannot divine the way it will turn and spiral, cannot perceive how the road you walk will lead you finally inside through the labyrinth of your own heart and belly and lungs. But step out and you will know what the wise who travelled this path before you knew. The treasure in this map is buried not at journey's end, but at its beginning. The blazing light of a star guided the journey of shepherds and wise ones in the ancient nativity stories. These stories were not told as factual histories by the followers of Jesus. They were told so that we might see in Jesus the human one, the character and purposes of the divine embodied in a human life. These stories bear witness to the enduring power of hope and the possibility of peace, even in the midst of conflict and injustice. Let us sing the ancient story once again, the first Noel, the angels did say.
Prophesy by Sun Ai Li Park. All the broken hearts shall rejoice. All those who are heavy laden, whose eyes are tired and do not see, shall be lifted up to meet with the motherly healer. The battered souls and bodies shall be healed. The hungry shall be fed. The imprisoned shall be free. All her earthly children shall regain joy in the reign of the just and loving one, coming for you, coming for me, in this time, in this world.
open to the sacred, born anew in our time and place. Let us pray. Sacred source of light and life, timeless wisdom, we seek healing for all that wounds us. May we find the courage we need to live justly, and may kindness light our way. Jesus the Christ, Christa companion, source of inspiration, connect us again to eternal truths, to deeper wells and broader visions. May we find the courage we need to live justly, and may kindness light our way. Enabling spirit, visionary hope, empower us to live well, to release our worries about the future and regrets over the past, to be alive to your community, responsive and open to the grace of each moment. May we find the courage we need to live justly and may kindness light our way. And remembering Jesus, we pray together. God, you are life for us. Holy be your name. Your new day come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our bread for the morrow and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Strengthen us in the time of test and deliver us from evil. For the power and the splendor and the fulfillment are yours now and forever. Amen. In our gatherings at church, we share gestures and words of peace. Though we are meeting not in person but online, the intent of peace may still be shared among us. As I offer words of peace, I invite you to bring to mind people with whom you wish to share a blessing of peace. May the peace and joy of Christmas be with you. Amen. I know not always how God comes, by Bonnie Balasic. I know not always how God comes, but that God comes, this I know. In an obscure stable, in splashing waters, in the breaking of bread, and often, my friend, incarnated in you. For God, I believe, still comes in the flesh. reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 2, verses 1 to 12. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, astrologers from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born ruler of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. 
When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all of Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to be shepherd of my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the astrologers and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem saying, go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring word to me so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. Nativity by Peter Cape. They were set for home, but the horse went lame, and the rain came pelting out of the sky. Joe saw the hut, and he went to look, and he said, She's old, but she'll keep you dry. So her kid was born on that roadman's shack by the light of a lamp that's hardly burn. She wrapped him up in her hubby's coat and put him down on a bed of fern. Then they came riding out of the night and this is the thing that she'll always swear as they took off their hats and came into the light and they knew 
they were going to find her there. Three old jokers in oilskin coats stood by the bunk in that leaking shack. One had a beard like a billy goat's and one was frail and one was black. She sat at the foot of the fern stalk bed and she watched but she didn't understand while they put these bundles at the baby's head and the river nugget into his hand. Gold is the power of a man with a man and incense the power of a man with God. But myrrh is the bitter taste of death and the sour sweet smell of the upturned sod. Then they went while she watched through the open door, weary as men who had ridden too far, and the rain eased off, and the low cloud broke, and through a gap shone a single star. Baby Change the World by Brian Wren. God, how can a baby change the world even before it is born? The proud seem quite secure. The seats of power look unshaken. The hungry are unfed and the rich take plenty away. So how can a baby change the world? And yet, when it stirs in the womb, it changes somebody's world. And when a child is born, our lives are changed forever. Who knows at birth what a child will become? Did Mary sing her song when her son left home? When he sat on a hillside? hung on a cross and shattered the tomb? Then how can a baby not change the world? Who knows what a child will become? For when in a home or a nation new life surges strong as the incoming tide, it changes the shape of the shoreline so that even the castles of power are like sand. The prayers of the people in thanksgiving and solidarity. Let us pray. We give thanks, sacred spirit, for Jesus, the human one, and for the deep wisdom revealed in his life. Be known to us as we live our ordinary lives in our everyday activities, our joys and sorrows, may we be faithful to your way. We give thanks for the freedom to have a questioning faith, which presses us to go deeper and wider 
so we may grow in grace and understanding. May our minds and hearts be open to learn, to share, and to find joy in responding with kindness to the needs of others. May we live out a passion for justice and compassion. May we join with the spirit in the movement toward reconciliation and the renewal of the whole creation. Remain with us, divine presence, and guide us to see you in unlikely ways through unexpected people. Our prayers join the timeless flow of hope that has its source in you, O Holy One. You are the beginning and the end of all that we long for. May we do today what will give hope for tomorrow. And in a time of stillness, we remember and pray for people and places that are on our own hearts for reconciliation, compassion, hope and love. In the many names of the sacred, we pray. Amen. Christmas Comes by Anne Weems Christmas comes every time we see God in other persons. The human and the holy meet in Bethlehem or in Times Square. For Christmas comes like a golden storm on its way to Jerusalem. Determinedly, Inevitably, even now it comes in the face of hatred and warring. No atrocity too terrible to stop it. No Herod strong enough. No hurt deep enough. No curse shocking enough. For someone on earth will see the star. Someone will hear the angel's voice. Someone will run to Bethlehem. Someone will know the peace and goodwill the Christ will be born. Nativity by Joy Cowley. Look now, it is happening again. 
Love like a high spring tide is swelling to fullness and overflowing the banks of our small concerns. And here again is the star, that white flame of truth blazing the way for us through a desert of tired words. Once more comes the music, angel song that lifts our hearts and tunes our ears to the harmony of the universe, making us wonder how we could have forgotten. And now, the magi within us gather up gifts of gold and myrrh, while the other part of ourselves, the impulsive, reckless shepherd, runs helter-skelter with arms outstretched to embrace the wonder of it all. We have no words to contain our praise. We ache with awe. We tremble with miracle as once again, in the small, rough stable of our lives, Christ is born. In the offering prayer, we acknowledge and give thanks for the generous giving of people who share in our gatherings via video. These offerings support the community and outreach of St. Michael's through our online services. If you would like to consider making a gift, there is information about how to do that on our website. The spirit is on the move, renewing, restoring, and reconciling. May the gifts that we give be part of that movement. Let us pray together. We bring our gifts and we bring our lives, blessing upon blessing, that the earth and its peoples may be healed and transformed. Amen. How the Light Comes by Jane Richardson I cannot tell you how the light comes. What I know is that it is more ancient than imagining, that it travels across an astounding expanse to reach us, that it loves searching out what is hidden, what is lost, what is forgotten, or in peril, or in pain that it has a fondness for the body, for finding its way towards flesh, for tracing the edges of form, for shining forth through the eye, the hand, the heart. I cannot tell you how the light comes, but that it does, that it will that it works its way into the deepest dark that enfolds you, though it might seem long ages in coming, or arrive in a shape you did not foresee. And so, may we this day turn ourselves toward it. May we lift our faces to let it find us. May we bend our bodies to follow the arc it makes. May we open, and open more, and open still to the blessed light that comes. May our world be touched again by the hope-filled songs of angels calling us and all the earth to peace. We sing together, it came upon a midnight clear.
a blessing for the season of Christmas. May the star of hope shine above us and voices of peace be raised in joy. May the child of God's love be found among us and a new day be born as we go out to live the good news that is for all the earth. Amen.